All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. Time for Eric plays XCOM Enemy Unknown, session one, take three. All right, so I've been trying to play this game uh, today all day. <coughs> um, this is a game that Dan gave me, I uh, think maybe last year around Christmas time, but I could be wrong. I know he gave it to me a while ago. Um, I had just gotten past the opening movie earlier when... Um, when uh, my daughter woke up from her nap, then um, <coughs> I was going to give it a shot um, while she was um, otherwise occupied, but then I had to go do some other stuff, so um, let's go ahead and give it a shot. The, uh, the opening film looked pretty cool, uh, so I already tweaked the options last time. Let's get into it. I want to do it easy. And that's because I've never played XCOM before. I have played tactical games, but uh, let's not uh, make it annoying for me. <coughs> and uh, so let's see here. There we go. And uh, the first time I had seen this, I said, oh, this looks like something that would be... Uh, first of all, it's a tautology, which I think is funny. And uh, something that would be written by someone famous. And of course, it was Arthur C. Clarke, <coughs> who predicted many things like geosynchronous... Um, satellites being used for GPS and stuff like that. And, uh, as I said before, you know, when something uh, lands from space, I would not uh, go look at what it is, because it's never anything good. I mean, worst case scenario, <laughs> it's you're talking about like some kind of nuclear reactive thing, or something like this. Um, best case scenario, <coughs> you might get burned. See, he would have made it if he didn't go and stand there while this thing was falling from the sky. And now he's getting sucked in to something, I don't know, depending on your level of uh, cynicism when it comes to aliens. It could be just a misunderstanding, they don't realize that humans are sentient, or it could be, hey, we're awesome spacefaring race and you're not, so we're going to take over, just like we did with the Native Americans. <laughs> Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Don't mess around. Humanity could die because of you. title screen. So, uh, this is about as far as I got last time. So, it's new from here. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3-1. Devil's Moon, Munich, Germany. You are being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hours Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground. I like this girl in the corner. The current status of the German recon team and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. I did not know that uh, <coughs> commanders would be like rappers. Central out. All right, let's give this thing a shot and see what's up with XCOM. This is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo three one. Any sign of activity? Negative. Down there. Okay. Set her down nearby.
great cinematics so far in this game. Although, um, Blizzard's been setting good cinematic standards since Warcraft 3, which was, I don't know, two decades ago, if not more. So we got three guys and a girl. No helmets. Seems a bit reckless to leave this part of your body. I mean, it is a smaller target than your body, but, uh... <coughs> Central, you getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first. Japanese Let's person. Israeli, I think. Whatever did American. Be out there. Delta one, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. So use the mouse as like the highlight position to move the soldier. So this guy, go there. Now what? Oh, I see. <coughs> Up to two times per turn, and their flag. Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta two, your turn. Move up to the debris. So what is this flag thing that shows? That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. <laughs> Delta 3. Move to that vehicle dead ahead. This almost seems like a very... Central. I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Russian guy, I think? Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. <laughs> it's like a really cinematic Civ 5, it almost looks like. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there. So you better double time Sakura Fujiwara. I think this is my girl. She's Japanese. Alright, so where's she supposed to go? Over there? Oh, she can't. That's too far, right? Let's see. Alright, so she could go here. Yes, I get it. You're telling me to go over there, but... There we go. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta Four? Holy uncanny valley. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Volin. What's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Alright, so I want to get him here. Dashing, okay. Alright, so he's in cover here, but he's not really in cover from this thing. But I guess the game's gonna continue to hold my hand for now. <coughs> I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Whoa. Central. I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or oh, what's left of it. It just doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. <laughs> Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Things are not going to go well for Mr. Artyom Kuznetsov. I guess I was right about that being a Russian flag. thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad, you're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover.
Oh oh. Delta two. Red doors in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. Hmm. Alright, it just says to click in there, so let's see. Cinematic. Uh oh. Ooh, maybe he's being controlled, like in uh, ID4. Okay, everyone, get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. Barrels. I don't know, man. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Delta three, move in and disarm him. Uh oh. Carefully. Huh. See if I'm right in the Russian doesn't make it. Part. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Trippy. Well, then, I was right. So now what? Oh, snap. It looks like I get to play now. All right, so he can go here. All right, Delta Two, weapons free. Get ready to fire. Okay. Okay. So now what do I do? Fire does up to four damage. Okay. Select fire and then press enter to fire. Whoa. Nice shot. Delta four, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Grenade. Right. There. Nice. Now get ready for their counter attack. Uh oh. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. She's no longer in cover. It's just you now, Delta Two. Great. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. Oh, I see. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Central, I think that's it. It's over. I think this guy's dying. Roger that, Delta. <laughs> Secure the bodies and head back to the sky range for immediate extraction. base location. North America gives me 50% less to uh, do everything with aircraft. <laughs> Europe gives me <coughs> cheaper labs and workshops. Asia gives me 50% less on training. South America 
I wonder why these are red and these are blue. Autopsy and interrogation are complete instantly. And Africa, a monthly funding increased by 30. I'm going to say this is probably closer to the way I would play um, <coughs> as someone who doesn't who doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, this probably seems like something I would like. Affirmative. We are coming home. <laughs> I like the little no alien. Guys are northern north. It's far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, Doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold: providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Whoa. <laughs> Commander, to the barracks. The, to the, barracks. <coughs> the stuff that I heard Dan and everyone talk about with um, the base and everything like that, I didn't even picture it as awesomely as Commander. it could have been. The soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher, in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Cool. Oh, Dr. Valen asked to see you in the research this lab. This guy's from Venezuela, I think? Important. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. <laughs> Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay. So, weapon fragments or alien materials to begin research. Hmm. Armor, I think, is going to end up being more important for me. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. It sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to mission control. Right. Commander to mission control. I wonder how I save? I don't think I've been given an opportunity to save yet. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the countries we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Right, United States, it's an easy difficulty. I get four scientists. Or Guangzhou, China, I get 200 double dollars. 
I'm gonna go with this. Scientists. Uh, later, when I don't have any money, I'm gonna be wishing I did the other thing. <laughs> Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Okay. Okay, I don't think I have any options really with these other guys. Alright, I don't want to launch the mission yet. How do I save? Uh, well, I guess I don't have a choice. United States. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. <laughs> All right. soldier before you move out let's see what's inside that building your squad mate is closer so let him check it out right before I do that here we go save game <coughs> okay good go back and back all right so I'm gonna want to be careful Awesome dude. Cause he has better powers. Now open the door quietly so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Okay. Now take cover inside. Alright. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Ship. Tab. Oops. That doesn't. Mouse scroll up. He's gonna be dashing, but he'll get up there. Hmm. <laughs> there they are. The rest of you, advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. Okay. So it looks like one of them is probably gonna come towards me. All right. So you come. Let's see here. <coughs> you go here. An American. All right, now it's their move. Whoop! That guy's not in cover anymore. Okay. He's 68% to hit, 52% to hit. Okay. Alright. Let's get this guy. Oh, I can't shoot there. Oh, I guess I can't make use of this thing. That's a bummer. So I gotta sh just shoot regular. No 
nice. Alright. Let's see. Where can she go to? Let's see, she'd be flanking him here. She'd be no. yeah, let's go here. <coughs> Let's see, could he go up here? No. He could go here. Let's go there. Okay. Nice. Great graphics, right? Enemy's turn. Alright. Maybe now he can use one of these cool weapons? Let's see. Let's go. Let's go here. Got something over here. <coughs> Alright, two aliens went into a building. I probably don't want to split up too much, but let's have this guy go here. They're, oh, they're taking over some dudes, maybe. Oh, yikes! She's directly within a... I guess she's not in cover? Missed. Alright, this guy. He can hide back there. And he can hide there. <laughs> I can see why people really like this game. It's very exciting. Right, this guy has a lot of catching up to you. I guess he can't use his rocket launcher again. Maybe he only gets one use per turn or something. Hmm. I wonder. <coughs> Could I come up from the roof? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's see, if she tries to shoot, she got a 25% there. Let's see, can she throw a grenade over here? Whoa, too far. Whoa, 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 wacky, wacky, wacky game. Alright, relax, grenade. Doesn't look like it can go far enough anyway.
Let's see. How do I get out of this mode? Escape? Alright, she can go that way. She can be here? I don't think she... Well, she might still be in cover. Let's see. Can I wait? Let someone else take a turn? Let's see. Next soldier. Oh, cool. I can't do that. They haven't shown me that yet, but... Alright, April Rice. Let's see if you can hit him with a grenade. Nice. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing We have a few. What's that? Ooh, cool. Without we losing some. Recovered artifacts immediately. All right, I'll do one to two more missions, and that'll be it for tonight. <coughs> Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Smoke grenade, awesome. Very good. Alright. No one else got a promotion. Oh, she got two kills, I guess that's why. Alright, cool. The artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. Nice. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Very cool. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the Council. <coughs> Hello, Commander. We Hello, shady guy. We congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. <coughs> Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. So, I can't see his face. Is he actually an alien? Is that the spoiler? We'll find out. <laughs> Alright, each library increases research by 20%. Okay. So we get four scientists. The council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our chief engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. The Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. Then they'll take their funding and additional support I see. with them. The Council's overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen. Which engineering is nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Hold on, before I do that, research. Hello, Commander. The current research task is progressing as expected. However, it will still be some time before the schematics are ready for engineering. I'm sure you have other pressing matters to attend to in the meantime. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. All right, mission control it is. Commander, Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Hmm. The schematics for the nanofiber vest are complete, Commander. Engineering is awaiting approval for fabrication. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. Xenobiology it is. <coughs> Thank you, Commander. I will let you know when this research has been completed. Hmm. It appears Dr. 
the Shen staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. Snarky, snarky. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. So, 20 double dollars. Medikit, 25 double dollars. This might be better in the long run. In the short run, let's do this one. Hundred bucks. Yeah, sure. Why not? Fabrication of the nanofiber vest is complete, Commander. It has been delivered to the armory. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. New items and weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. Ooh, lots of soldiers now. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Did I do that? No. This should have been, right? Huh, whatever. So she got a grenade. Or she could have this vest. Oh, I didn't know it was one or the other. Alright, everyone else is going to keep their grenades for now. His voice sounds very familiar. I'm gonna have to look it up on IMDb. Other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the aliens' operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. <laughs> Farewell, Commander. <coughs> we know you will not disappoint us. Sounds like we better get to it. So it'll give us $168 panic reduction and five scientists. Okay, give me one second. No, I guess I don't have an option. Let's launch this mission then. Alright, so I have this guy. Her, this guy, and this guy. Alright, let's do it. <coughs> so this is going to be my last mission, because it took a while to get everything set up before. So I'm going to Japan. Fukuoka, Japan. Sting, the only person known to have escaped from alien captivity. Our mission is to locate her somewhere on that block and get her out of there. I hate escort missions. No matter what the game, escort missions are always a pain in the butt. <coughs> Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. So first I have to find her. Alright. Let's see. And I guess I always want to maintain cover. And I guess she's going to be in this direction. Alright. Alejandro. Over here. Elsa. 
Up on the bus. <coughs> cool. Eva Bakker. Over here. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Alright. So now I have a new objective in addition to finding this woman. I wonder how I would capture him versus killing him. Scary looking alien. I think I have the card for that. Alright. So this person is now vulnerable. Let's see. Alright, you know what? Stay still. Uh, let's see. You. Nope, so much for capturing her. Whoopsie. Yep. Whoa, lucky me. No targets available. Why does this look like this? There we go. Ooh, nice. So she should be able to shoot after this, too, because she didn't dash. Let's grenade this mother. Nice. And Rookie Schmidt has a promotion now. Alright, who am I moving now? Okay. <coughs> new alien. <coughs> Two new aliens. Things are getting a little more complex now. And there's the woman. And this guy's way back here. He doesn't look like he's in cover at all. Alright. Let's see what we got going on. Alejandro. Alright. Let's get over here. Oh crap. He's not in cover at all. one square over too many. Let's see if I can take this guy out. out. Boom! Goes the dynamite, but not the alien.
coming, coming. This dude finally blow up. Sweet. All right. Don't worry, my best guy's coming. You have to help me. There's just so many of them. They're everywhere. Yes, yes, I know. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see. All right. I'm gonna. Let's see. Next guy. Next one. Because I think there's still an alien back here. Right? I think so. I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. Can she move on her own? Do I control her now? Okay, go here. Who else has a turn? She has a turn. Come here in case I need you near the my the, the woman. <coughs> Whoa! Are aliens just blowing stuff up? What in the world is going on with these cars? Alright, Alejandro, it's up to you, man. I think we need to start getting away from cars, probably. Oh, shoot, I forgot to save when I first started this mission. Let's save now. Better late than never. Alright. Those things. They had so many bodies in there. I just don't understand. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure what the strategy is for one of these escort missions. I just know that I don't know where the heck my alien is. There he is. <laughs> Boom, headshot. Strike one. We've got a wave of X rays closing on your location. Oh no. Well then. Let's do this then. Anybody else I can see? No one else I can see. Alright, let's save your turn for later. Okay, wait. Wait. Alright. Let's do this. No targets available. Are you sitting? Serious? Wasn't there one over here somewhere? Hmm. Alright, maybe not. Maybe there's somewhere else. Is this dude? Oh, up there, on the top. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Get ready. Whoa. Poisoned. Crap, I don't know what that means. Other than it's probably gonna lose. Whoa. Right where I don't need him to be. 
he disappeared? Oh, I see. <coughs> oh, this is April Rice. guys over towards where I was before. I assume they won't appear till I get close, so let's see. Backer. Let's hide here. coming up. Let's take cover here. Cover. And you wait right there. Alien's turn. Shot him, didn't kill him. Alright. Let's wait till we take care of this guy. Mother frickin' rocket launcher. Nice. Alright. She can make it into here. Can she make it in? people to go in. <coughs> Alright, that was good. Once I deal with all the automated stuff and figure out how to save within the base, I'll end my turn for tonight. <coughs> Ooh, lots of promotions. Ooh, another one for Alejandro. So he can get... Find the That's the first action, no longer ends a turn. Or shooting at suppressing enemy also confers a t plus 10 aim. Hmm. <coughs> I like being able to 
<laughs> shoot as a first thing. Yes. All right. Elsa. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Ooh, headshots. Love it. Go back. Eva. class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Firing or overwatch after dashing. On the on the run on the turn running gun is activated. Two turn cooldown. Alright, she can either have three additional tiles or allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. Reaction shots. So I don't know for sure what this means, but if I take it on just what it means in English, that means if an enemy attacks her, she might shoot back without wasting a turn. So let's do that one. <coughs> so, <laughs> looks like my three awesome people are not going to be able to participate in the next mission, but the sniper will be able to. Okay, we got a bunch of artifacts. We got some money. Got some scientists. Remember, we will be watching. Alright, so situation room is next. Commander, good news. The council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites. So I recommend we launch the new one immediately. Alright, let's do that. Alright. So two fifty a month for this one. Oh, I see. If I do it in China. One fifty a month. One twenty a month. Two twenty five a month. China, I wonder will it help reduce their panic? But also, does that mean I could lose this satellite? So they'll give me 270, 150, 75, 105. Alright, let's go with the United States. They look like the top. 225 versus 270. Okay. Plus, oh, nice. this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. Sure. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. <coughs> where they're operating <coughs> from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility <coughs> to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right, and I'll speak to the commander. Hmm. Cool. All right. More questions to the origin of species. I like that. Hmm. 
Top secret. Should be at the top as well. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Commander okay. to engineering. Commander to engineering. All right, engineering. <coughs> Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Five bucks, sure. And eighteen a month. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander to the research labs. Commander huh. to the research labs. Ah, so I can't save the game from in here. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to end it there because it's getting a little late and I don't want to wait too long. So um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. That was my first playthrough of XCOM Enemy Unknown and uh, it's pretty awesome. I definitely think I'll be playing this game a bit uh, from now until, <coughs> until, uh, well, and I guess... And until I get bored of it. <laughs> uh, although uh, I may stop prematurely just to um, go ahead and check out some other games and then come back to this just like I do with Civ and other stuff. But I'll, I'll probably try to get at least get out of the tutorial. <laughs> um, so let me once again just make sure I saved. 2136. That looks about right, but let me just do one more. Alright, so I've done that twice in the geoscape. Alright, and I'll quit to the desktop. So, um, I just want to remind everybody I'm playing for extra life. Um, please, if you have an opportunity, um, give some money. The donations go to a great cause. In my case, I'm giving it to Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. Um, they saved my daughter's life twice, and um, I really owe them everything. So, um, thanks a lot. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, whether or not you donate, I love when people come. I love when people um, participate in the chat. So feel free to pop in whenever you can, whenever I'm playing. Uh, just follow me either on YouTube or on Twitch, and they'll let you know when I start. Thanks a lot. Bye.